As soon as we're introduced to Richie April, we can certainly tell that he's going to be trouble. While coming back from a lengthy jail sentence and being the brother of the former boss of the family and Jackie April Sr., Richie certainly carries respect when he arrives back into the DeMeo crew, and rightfully so. But where did it all go wrong for Richie April? While carrying respect towards other newcomers within the crew like Christopher, Sean, and Matthew, however, he isn't the best role model within the crew. As as Richie is one of the most ruthless, annoying, disrespectful, and arrogant characters to ever appear on The Sopranos. His traits, characteristics, interactions, and decision making always seem to rub Tony and others the wrong way, as he was very comparable to Ralph Cifaretto. Right away, audiences were introduced to just how ruthless and violent Richie can be as a gangster. As when April returned home from prison, we saw him try and shake down an old friend of his in Beansy Gata. As when Richie came out of prison, Richie felt that the rules of the mafia didn't apply to him at all, simply because he was in jail for a long time, served his time, and was already a made member and was once respected in this life. It was during this conflict where we saw the true Richie April, as Richie thought he still had some respect on the streets and wanted a piece of what was once his in the pizza shop. However, Richie realized that while he was away for a long time, things have certainly changed and he can't always get what he wants. Being too stubborn to change, being fragile to the new wave of the Mafia, and adapting to the way the Mafia was now being run in the early 2000s, Richie certainly had to adjust. Gone were the days where a mobster could just roam the streets as he wanted and do what made him the most money without anyone's approval. It was eye-opening for Richie that he now had to get the boss's approval on every little detail and score that he wanted to take part in. No more talking to the skip directly like he would in the old days, as this now would draw too much attraction towards the feds. The situation with Beansy proved to Tony and to us that Richie would just simply never listen, as this was the beginning of the end of Richie April, and this certainly caused some immense amount of tension between the two. Not to mention the fact that Richie is in complete and utter shock that Tony is now the family's boss. As in Richie's eyes, Tony is someone younger than him, as he still views Tony as a child. This instantly makes Richie jealous and spites him right out of prison. There was always a lot going on with Richie April. He had complete jealousy towards Tony, he couldn't get what he wanted shaking down Beansy, and on top of all of this, he had disowned his very own son, Lil Ricky, because of his homosexuality. It was no question that Richie started to be good towards Tony and try and make it up to him for all of his wrongdoings. Nowhere do we see a better example of this than when Richie gifts Tony the jacket. As this jacket is now looked back on as the infamous jacket that Richie took off of Rocco DeMeo. DeMeo had the reputation of being one of the toughest individuals in Essex County Jail. Right away, we can tell that Tony wants nothing to do with this old, leather, and out of style jacket, as he would later lend it down to his maid's husband, which Richie would later discover and really pissed Richie off. In a way, this jacket is a metaphor for the character of Richie April, as it symbolizes the character exactly. Richie was stubborn and unwilling to change his habits and actions that he brought back from the old school, as he felt that he still carried respect from the old school mafia days, as Richie feels this 30-year-old jacket would still look good on someone today. However, it does not. Richie had no idea that times had changed and that no one would ever wear a jacket like this during the early 2000s. Just like how Richie had to adapt to the new waves and runnings of the mafia, Richie is old, stale, out of date with current times, just like this jacket. It seemed as the fun never stopped with Richie, as he later loaned Tony's childhood friend David Scatino money. But what Richie didn't know was that Scatino had managed to get a seat at Tony's executive game, where Tony fronted him a large amount of money. While Richie was likely going to be paid out first in this scenario with Scatino, had he not intervened. But it's his reaction and causing a stir at the poker game that leads to Tony suspending and freezing his money with Scatino. Meaning that for Richie, no interest with Scatino can be earned. Rightfully so, this seems to enrage Richie and makes him completely bitter towards Tony, and especially the way he runs his crew. As this sparked the beginning of Richie wanting to take out Tony once and for all, and backing him up behind this was Uncle Junior wanting to take the driver's seat. But as we all know, Richie couldn't sell the idea 
idea towards Albert because of his lack of respect and authority that he carried throughout the crew. As if things couldn't get worse between Tony and Richie, the situation with Beansy, Tony freezing his money with Scatino, Richie disowning his son, finding out that Tony gave the infamous jacket that Richie took off of Rocco de Mayo to his maid's husband, Richie came up with the bright idea that he thought it would be good if he dated Tony's sister, Janice as the two used to date in high school. While in Richie's eyes, this move wanted to make him closer to Tony, for Tony, this only made him want to stay away from Richie even more. Having the thought of having a homosexual son already aggravating Richie, an argument over this topic certainly won't help Richie's cause either. And on one infamous night, that's exactly what took place between Richie and Janice. Janice having defended Richie's son's sexuality, Richie then responds by punching her in the face. In this startling sequence of events, Janice responds by shooting Richie with a gun and ultimately killing him. This resulted in Tony's hands to be completely clean in this shocking scenario and having one of his biggest enemies happily dead. And ironically, Tony never had to approve the situation either, just like how Richie always wanted to do things his own way without any approval. We can certainly see just how much stress and anxiety Richie caused not only Tony, but everyone else. He never ever agreed with anything Tony said or voted on, whether it was for Richie's own benefit or to make a situation better for the crew. Richie was always against everything. His stale and out of style ways of partaking in mob activities proved to be so far gone that he couldn't adapt to the new ways of how things were being ran. And as if this wasn't enough, he wasn't satisfied with who was running the crew in Tony, as he felt that Tony carried no respect, didn't like his rules, and still viewed Tony as a child. While being a legendary gangster from the old school, Richie had a hard time coming back into the Mafia's days of keeping up with government officials and technology. He was loved so much by all in the old days, that when he came into the current days of the Mafia, he couldn't keep his emotions in check. We saw this as well in a character in Feech Lamana, as he too was too old school for Tony's liking. Richie April was a ticking time bomb, as it wasn't the matter of if Richie was going to explode, it was when, as this was ultimately the end of Richie April. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and subscribe. And I would love to hear your thoughts about Richie April down in the comment section below. As always, for more Sopranos content, keep it locked here, right here on this channel.